first off, and give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakarik Badash, that belongs to the apostles and elders of GMS that teach us this word, and shall warm unto the hopeful elect upon the four corners of this earth that shall make it a body here. So this lesson that I wanted to bring out was going to be about um, ma making sure to, 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 to bridle your tongue and, and the importance of your words. Because um, your words hold a lot of power. You you, you got to make sure that, that you that you think about what you say, that you uh, that that you bridle your words and, and use that pure communication. Here I, I bring out this, this first scripture, James chapter one, verse 26. It says, if any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man, this man's religion is vain. So, you know, it, it, there it says, right, there it goes right there. You can't be in this truth and not b bridle your tongue. You imagine if you're, if you're on the highways and, um, and you're just speaking, you're just, you're just saying w w whatever. No, you got to remember that you are a, a, a man of, of the Lord to, to, to all the to all the prophets and, and, and uh, men of the Lord that's listening. You got to remember that you are representing Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai when you talk. That's why you got to bridle your, your speech. That's why you got to make sure that you that you're um, that you're aware of what you're saying, that you're controlling what you're saying. When 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 you teach, you got to make sure that you're that you're teaching with holy communication here I um let me bring out Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 it says let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers so it says let no corrupt communication proceed out, out of your mouth you you want to let that holy communication proceed out, out of your mouth that 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 communication that 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 ministers grace that that communication that edifies, it, you can't whether it be a um in a video whether it be out on the highways um if you're just teaching somebody just 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 in a talk one on one you gotta make sure that that you're um that you're aware of of, of what you're saying because you have a very important role your role is to is to um. It's to teach this this truth unto unto the the lost children out there. Your your role is to feed the flock, and that having that role, being aware of what you say and and controlling your tongue is a very important thing. Because that that's that's what you're using the most. You're you're using your your speech to to, to teach people. And so you gotta make sure that you're that you're aware of what you're saying, that you're aware of what you're of what you're spewing out, aware of what you're teaching. You can't just say w w whatever. You, you, that that's that like corrupt communication. You gotta make sure that that you're that you're using communication that's good for edifying. You can't just speak whatever you want. No, you gotta make sure that you're that you're studying, that you're um, that you're understanding, so that you can edify, so that you can minister grace unto the hearers. That's your job, as a man of the Lord. Th this truth isn't just in, isn't just something that 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 you can play around with, and and for brothers who have been doing this for a while, or for, for brothers who do this every single day, daily, you gotta. Rem it, it, this may get repetitive. It may get um. For, for for lack of better words, it may get boring, but you gotta you gotta look past all that. Just just because it just because it, it gets repetitive, it gets boring. You gotta remember what your job is. You gotta remember what you're representing. If a uh, if someone came up um who was who was who was the head of a of a of of a big company who who was the speaker of a big company, they're gonna make sure that they're that they're on on top of what they're saying that they're that they're aware of what they're saying that they bridle their tongue that they use that they use that that good communication because they're representing an entire company we're representing the most high we're re we're representing Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai we're that's what we're co-signing that's what we're speaking on behalf of we're speaking on behalf of of, of this truth so you got to remember that you got to make sure that that your communication when it comes to this truth is is um is holy. You gotta make sure that that you're edifying, that, that that you're ministering grace, as as the scripture says. And and 
you got to remember that that every word that you speak, it's going to be accounted for in, in, in the last days. Every single, every single word. Here, oh, let me get Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. It says, but, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in, in the day of judgment. So all your actions, all the words that you speak is going to um, is, is gonna have a part to play in your judgment in the last days. Every, uh, every part of, you, of your communication, whether you bridled your tongue, whether you didn't bridle your tongue, all of that is going to have a part to play in your judgment in the last days. It, 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 that that's that's what's that's what um that's gonna have in, in addition that that's gonna be accounted for um when in, in your judgment you know so uh and in another aspect of 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 uh, in another aspect of bridling your tongue you gotta make sure that you're doing that in your everyday life as well when it comes to to um when it comes to it's not just about bridling your tongue when teaching. Is you're supposed to have this in, in your everyday uh, manner, and it, this is supposed to be how you carry yourself. the The book of Proverbs talks about uh, very often the importance of words and, and the importance of of how to use your words. Here, let me get Proverbs chapter fifteen, verse one. It says, "A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger." So. This is just another um uh, another scripture showing the 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 power that words have. Uh, it says a soft answer to turn it the way wrath. So somebody might be uh might be riled up. Somebody might be like angry at you, but it says a soft answer to, to turn it the way wrath. What what's a soft answer? Something that that diffuses a situation. Something that calms somebody down. Just because someone else is getting riled up at you doesn't mean that you get riled up back and then you um you increase the the tension of the situation then a whole a whole uh altercation happens that didn't have to happen if you would have just if you would have just gave that soft answer if you would have just bridled your tongue here um it, for for example if 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 a demon comes up on on on, on the highways trying to rile up strife trying to um trying to cause a, a a big situation that doesn't have to exist it says a soft answer to turn it the way wrath don't don't get on that level with that demon that that's what they want you got to make sure that you're you got to make sure that, that you diffuse that situation so that you can continue to bring out that word you got to make sure that you're that you're that you're getting past that situation in, in the most peaceable way possible and and continuing to to edify, continuing to to um to to move on from it, because if you if you if a demon comes up on on a whole bunch of BS and then you and then you get then you let yourself get stirred up, and then you 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 say the, those grievous words which stirs which stirs up that demon's anger even more, then you know you're in a whole situation, and then th that whole highway session then got messed up. That's why you gotta constantly keep that in your mind. You gotta constantly uh, you you gotta make that your your everyday life's practice. Here, verse two says, "The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness." So it says, "The tongue of the wise the tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright." You the the knowledge and the things that you learn in these scriptures, you're gonna use that in your in your everyday uh. And, and your everyday tongue, you're going to, you're going to bridle your tongue with that knowledge. You know, you're that you're, the power of, of your words is going to be th through knowledge. You're going to be able to edify, you know, but it says, but the mouth of fools pour it out foolishness. And here, let's get the definition on that word foolishness. As a matter of fact. Here it says, oh, here I'll, I'll 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 get the 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 um the pronunciations for it. Strong's H two hundred. Eveleth. Eveleth. It says foolishness, folly. That's the only definition I got for it. The, the only other word for it is folly. So the mouth of fools poureth out folly. You. you Folly isn't supposed to be in in your everyday um your, your everyday living your your everyday 
folly is supposed to be how you how you carry yourself um constantly you're supposed to con- you're supposed to constantly carry yourself with knowledge with with uh with, with graceful words that that's how you're supposed to have that that uh you're supposed to carry yourself with with, with a godly um with, with 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 a godly manner with the with a holy manner it um here let me get another scripture just talking about the the, the power of, of of the tongue it says it says death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof so this is just another scripture proving how powerful your words are. It says death and life are in the power of the tongue. You may be, um, back to my just um back to my example of of being on the highways. Somebody might walk by and and hear the um hear you teaching, and they'll listen and then get get into the truth, and then they might end up making it out of here in the last days. You might get, give them life. But if 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 you're on the highways and you aren't you aren't uh, bridling your tongue, you you aren't using knowledge. You're probably going going to teach someone incorrectly, and then, however it happens, you might lead someone to death. Again, that's the importance of being a man of, uh, of the Lord. That's the that's the position that you hold. You have a lot of power in in, in what you say and and how you teach people. You know. It says death and life are in the power of the tongue. This isn't just, again, this isn't just a, a a thing that you can play around with. This truth isn't a thing that you can play around with. Your words in general are not a thing that you can play around with. You got to be careful with, with, with what you say. You got to be clear with what you say, holy with what you say at all times. Like like the scripture Ephesians 4 and 29 said, it, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your out of your mouth. You're supposed to constantly be aware and and um and you're supposed to constantly constantly carry yourself in a manner of knowledge so that you can be able to edify. You can be able to have that holy communication. You'll be able to constantly minister grace unto the people that you're teaching, unto the people that you're talking to, you know. So yeah, that's all I want to bring out with that. With that being said, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory. I'll take Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Luchak Badash, and a Shalom.